I'm Marion Franklin, a Team GB Canoe Slalom athlete. My earliest Olympic dreams was probably from London 2012 and watching the Canoe Slalom um, and being able to be there and watch it all and kind of acknowledging and realising that I could go and be part of that. My childhood bedroom was pretty plain, black and white, but it was nice to have the blank canvas to just exist and have my own space and be able to be me. I think it was probably like my little haven, as it is I think for a lot of kids, but it was my little place that I could be myself and have my own space. My bedroom's like important in the sense it's definitely where you go and have the space and time to just switch off. Um, especially I've got cats and they're generally not allowed in my bedroom, so like it probably still replicates what it did when I was a kid and just having that space to be able to relax and be completely on my own. Uh, my current bedroom replicates my childhood bedroom probably more and the, there isn't a lot of colour in it. <laughs> we have a purple ceiling now, which is a bit rogue. Um, but no, it's, it's still pretty plain, I guess. I share it with my husband now, so there's a little bit more of both of us in it and a little bit of those photos of like my uni and the things that are just like elements of who I was and who I am in there a bit more, but I got, I've got a whole house now, so I spread myself out a bit more. <laughs> when I go to sleep, it's generally doors shut, keep cats out, um, and as dark as it can be, as natural as possible, basically. I think for me, going to bed, it's more about the literal last 30 minutes. Um, I'm generally pretty relaxed until that point, but I put on my little sleep light thing that slowly dims, so it just creates that kind of atmosphere. And then try and read a book for a bit and just try and have 30 minutes just to switch off and just try and calm down and just allow to just go to sleep. I use Sleepcasts um, to go to sleep just to try and help me switch off my brain. Um, they're just little stories that are designed to help you slowly drift off and kind of focus the mind onto one thing um, and help draw away all the noise around it. For me, that really helps me like fall asleep and I get to sleep a lot quicker. I think having a good night's sleep is probably one of the key things for mental health. I generally find that when I'm tired, I just reach a point where I'm really mopey and sad and it's really easy to make me cry and it's really hard then to engage in my training and having a good night's sleep it allows you to kind of come at it and have all like the capacity almost to be able to take in all of the information that relates to being able to perform especially in my sport with it being so like reactive and all of those kind of things having the access to those elements of your ability just make it loads better.